What's up everybody, this is Mario. Today we're gonna learn a easier way for you to compute this using your TI-30XX calculator. First, we're gonna do the hard way so that you know how useful it is to um, use the calculator. So we're gonna do this one here. So we know we have inputs, we need to find our outputs. So some of this I can do it in my head. Some of this I have to actually put it in a calculator. That means for the first one I can do 0, 2 to the 0 is 1, 1 times 16 is 16, and then the next one is going to be 2 to the 1 will be 2, and then 2 times 16 is 32. Now the next one I may need a calculator, it's going to be 16 times 2 to the 4th, so you'll see to uh, learn to appreciate this one after uh, the next one is going to be 16 times 2 raised to the power of 5 and that's going to be 512 right so that took me a good two minutes to do that i'm going to show you how to do it in less than 10 seconds approximately so here's how you do it you want to go into table okay you can show your students this you want to go into table of course this implies that you have this in um, your classroom, but most of us do in this class. All right, so we're gonna put table. You're going to clear that out, and now you're going to input the function. So the function is 16, parentheses two, and you're gonna raise it to the power of x. How do you do that in this calculator? Um, this calculator is actually good enough to do that. To the left of four, you see the variables here, and you actually can clear, you can actually just input the variable x. You press enter. It's going to ask you where your starting point is. In this case, it's 0, not 1. So you put 0. It's going to ask you the steps or the increments. Well, it's incrementing by 1. If this was like 2, 4, 6, then you put step by 2. But in this case, it's going by 1, so I just leave it like that. Press enter. Auto. You want auto response after I generate. Started from 0, you just say yes. Just press enter. And press enter and here are your outputs look at that how beautiful that is 16 32 64 128 even if i didn't catch my mistake here i would have caught it after i did my uh, checking check my solutions so 128 256 and 512 and you can go all the way to 10 boom there it is see how much time that will save us so hope this one was useful i'm gonna do one more just so you guys can see the practice all right, so we are going to do one more. We're going to do it this way here. Look at that, how messy that will be to punch it in here. But with the calculator, we're going to get it done in a few seconds. So let me punch this in right here, and we'll go over the output. So that will be 27, parentheses, and over the button. And then we're going to put 1 over 3, close parentheses, raised to the power of x. Okay. Now I press enter. Where are we starting? We're starting at zero. And we're going by increments of one. And then we just go okay, okay. And there it is. Those are my outputs. 27, 9, 3. And then 1 and 1 third. 1, 1 third, and one more. 1 over 9. And we are done. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to hit the like button so that we can keep creating videos like this and we can keep helping other teachers. Thank you for watching.